game between the American and National Leagues at Cleveland. It proved to be May's Day in July. After Ken McBride walked May, Wondrous Willie promptly steals second base to get into scoring position for the first run of the game. Dick Grote singles off McBride and the ball barely touches the ground before Willie is off for home. American League ties it up, but Mays uh, and the Nationals come right back in the third as Willie singles to score Hank Aaron. As Willie goes down to first base, he's got larceny in his heart again, as the crowd soon sees. Mays is off for second so fast the catcher Earl Batty doesn't bother to throw. When Ed Bailey comes up with a one-bagger, Mr. Mays is around for another run. For the day, he has two stolen bases, two runs batted in, and two runs scored. The American League bounces right back in the same inning. A single by Frank Malzone drives in Albie Pearson. Then another single by Earl Batty, and Malzone's run ties it up three to three. That's the way it remains until the fifth. The only error of the game comes as Bill White slaps one to Malzone at third. His toss to Bobby Richardson at second is bad, and Tommy Davis goes to third on the throw. It's that man again, Willie Mays, grounds out to first, but he pushes Davis across, and the National League stays out in front the rest of the day. The crowd licks the icing from the cake as Don Drysdale pitches to Joe Pepito. Joe laces one deep into center field. Who's out there? You guessed it, and our Willie makes a spectacular catch. He barks his shin, but he laughs it off. Bobby Richardson ends any American League threat in the ninth when he lines into a double play. The Nats take it five to three with a little help from wondrous Willie Mays. 